All right, so our finalists tonight, everybody please welcome John Farrell and Shelley Gruenberg. All right, John, do you want to go first or second? I'll go second. All right, May, your question. Uh, May. Shelly, the question is for May. I'm reading a name while saying a different name, all right? You all, take it easy. <laughs> Shelly, your question is for May. Yep. Keith. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Smash Mouth tells us that all that glitters is gold. And Shakespeare says all that glisters is not gold. Who was right? Well, Smash Mouth is still alive. So not like, oh, did you just boo the idea of a person being alive? Very classy. No, Smash Mouth is still alive, not like some big, dumb, dead idiot William Shakespeare. Yeah, William Shakespeare, not as hot as everyone thought he was. Only seen drawings, but... Oh, oh you're, getting, you're getting steamed, John? <laughs> you're getting steamed over some dumb, dead idiot? Ha. Ha, ha, ha. Here. He's not dead to me. He, he will never be dead to me. My Uncle Jim, though, is dead. Though. <laughs> he is not coming back. I, I love Shakespeare. And if you don't, I will fight you. <laughs> I will fight all of you. Well, not all of you. One at a time, probably. All, all, all of you would be tough. I would lose. Especially if one of you had a weapon. Um, Smash Mouth has never been right. I've, th th Smash Mouth... Uh, I'm not, I'm not well versed in music, more of a radio guy, more of a talk radio guy, but uh, Smash Mouth is not good music. Shakespeare, though, that's good writing, baby. And if you can't see that, you are a Philistine, and that means someone who is not well versed in art, I believe. Uh, I don't know if that is the correct definition, but if you want to look, no one's looking up on their phone, so you all trust me. Oh, fuck, people are looking it up. Oh, fuck. Don't read it out loud, please. Don't. It's an adverb. I know. It does not L L Y, baby. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Shakespeare is so much better than the dumb Smash Mouth. That guy has uh, put. Ch Time. <laughs> John, how do you know the word Philistine but not the word serrated knife? <laughs> First of all, you can take all your bad opinions, put them in your NPR tote, and carry them right out the door. <laughs> Well, you'll be waiting because I'm going to fucking fight you after this. <laughs> no one recognizes me now that I dyed my hair. So when they say, who's Shelly Gruenberg, you can say, not the blonde girl anymore, the girl who beat the shit out of John Farrell. <laughs> uh, public schools, that's uh, the obvious answer. And no one disrespects Mikula Chakrabarty in front of me. No one, or Bob Oates, or the guys from Car Talk, or Peter Sagal. How dare you? There we go. Yeah, Peter Sagal. He's a good man. He helps people run the blind. He helps blind people run marathons. What's and now uh, Shakespeare would have also done that. Smash Mouth would have just made it difficult for them to run. That guy is a dirtbag, and I don't. I hope he's listening right now so I can tell him that to his uh, rich face. All right, well, as you all know, there's no way that I could choose the winner here, so I'm going to need your help. Go into the Pick a Side Stupid Facebook group right now and choose either Shelly Grunberg or John Farrell for that. And you have all voted, apparently. Um, and the votes are in. And our winner tonight is John Farrell. So... Thank you all for being here. We'll be back uh, Monday night with our quiz show with May Keith and open mic with Sean Rosa. And then next Friday, we'll be back here again with another debate. Thank you all. Good night. Woo!